What is a planning runtime prompt? A runtime prompt is a type of substitution variable used in business rules to provide flexibility by allowing a user to provide the value for the variable when the business rule is run as opposed to using a predetermined fixed or hard-coded variable value. This allows each user the ability to enter the values that are relevant to them each time they run the business rule. The runtime prompt can also be hidden from the user, so if it is being run from a data form, it doesn't prompt them at all actually, but rather uses the page or POV values on a data form. This will only work if the dimension that the variable has been designed to use is in the page or POV of the form, so it won't work if it's in the columns or rows of the form. To create a runtime prompt variable, go to the Calc Manager and open the Variable Designer. By clicking the Variable Designer icon or selecting Variable Designer from the Actions menu. In the Variable Designer and in the Variable Navigator panel, select Planning then Global. Choosing Global lets you use the variable for any planning application rather than just one. In the Replacement tab on the right, click New from the Actions menu. A Properties window will appear where you'll enter a name for your new variable. Select a type. This refers to the type of value that the variable will be associated with. There are several types. We're using a simple metadata type that will prompt for a metadata member name. The fields and properties listed further down can change based on the type that was selected. Since we selected member, we'll need to choose the dimension that will be associated with the variable. Here we're using the year dimension. There are a few other variable settings. Limits can be set to limit the valid member choices for the variable. This is an optional setting. However, a default value must be entered, the RTB box must be checked on, and the RTP text must be provided. This is the text that will be displayed to the user when the prompt appears. Once these values are entered, click Save, then Refresh to see the new variable listed. To add the newly created runtime prompt variable to a business rule, reference the variable in the business rule, ensuring it's enclosed in curly brackets, and click Save. Once saved, the variable will appear in the business rule's listing of variables. The variable will appear with a list of settings or parameters that will apply specifically to the business rule. All of the settings can be left blank to get the basic runtime prompt functionality. Options include is hidden, which will hide the prompt from the user and use the default value or a value from a data form. Value, which is a stored value that is specific to the rule as opposed to one used in the variable design. Use as override value will override any page or POV values on a data form with the stored value. Security can be used to limit the members that users can select from. For instance, they can be limited to only choose members that they have write access to or read access to. The default allows them to choose any member. This can be dangerous because once a user is allowed to kick off a business rule, it will run using a system account, which will have full access to all members. So when the user is prompted to select a member, if security is left at use default, the user will be able to select any member. Once you save and deploy the business rule, you can launch it. As long as you don't have is hidden selected, the prompt will appear. You can click on the member selector to select a different member or leave the default value. Then click launch. And that's it. The business rule ran with a runtime prompt. Thanks.